Today I'm doing the second part in a series, no it's not a The Incredibles 2 review, it is a, it is a TV series review, it is The Flash Season 2, and I'll just let you know, um, I've stopped watching The Flash, cause I, I didn't even get to do a review on Season 3, it just got so weird and so bad. It just wasn't enjoyable in season three anymore. So we stopped it and we started watching The Mandalorian instead. <laughs> so um, recommended age for seeing this TV show, probably 14. Uh, my overall rating for the season would be six out of 10. It just wasn't very good. Uh, season two is when it started getting really, really weird and when the characters stopped being funny, really, I would probably say. Um, violence, five out of 10. Well, no, that's a that's a bit of an overstatement. Uh, violence is probably more like 3 out of 10. Uh, I probably should have rewritten that at the end of Season 2 because I wrote this review just a little before uh, the end of Season 2. Um, language, language 2 out of 10. No major cuss words, a couple minor cuss words every once in a while. Um, and adult content, 6 out of 10. They just... This is exactly what I tell the directors when I meet them. I don't meet them. Marry the people before you go to live with them. That's all I'm going to say. The adult content is pretty high in season two. And it is it, the adult content, I mean, like, skyrockets in season three. Um, I'm not going to do a season three series review, a uh, season three uh, TV review, because I feel like that would be unfair. I haven't seen all of season three, so I don't know how it ends or anything. Uh, but yeah, until the next time, guys, thank y'all so much for watching this movie review. That was easy. And I will talk to y'all later. A uh, good bye. That was pathetic. I'm doing that again. Goodbye.